но на совете одной ночью. But in the council one night. После долгого обсуждения. After a long deliberation. Было решено послать соглядатаев по его следу. It was determined to put spies on his track. Когда он отправится охотиться. When he went forth to hunt. Так что его методы могли бы быть изучены. So that his methods might be learned. Итак, в его следующий поход. So, on his next trip. Бим и Боун, два молодых мужчины. Бим и Боун, two young men. И из охотников самые ловкие. And of hunters the craftiest. Последовали за ним. Followed after him. Стараясь не быть увиденными. Taking care not to be seen. Через пять дней они вернулись. After five days they returned. Их глаза были расширенными и их языки дрожавшими, чтобы рассказать. Their eyes bulging and their tongues a tremble to tell. Что они видели? What they had seen. Совет был спешно созван в жилище Клошквана. The council was hastily called in Клошквана's dwelling. И Бим начал рассказ. And Bim took up the tale. Братья. Как было приказано. Brothers, as commanded. Мы шли по следу Киша. We journeyed on the trail of Kish. И осторожно мы шли. And cunningly we journeyed. Так, чтобы он не смог заметить. So that he might not know. В середине пути первого дня. And midway of the first day. Он связался с большим медведем самцом. He picked up with a great he bear. Это был очень большой медведь. It was a very great bear. Больше не бывает, перебил Боун и продолжил сам. None greater, Bon corroborated and went on himself. Но медведь не был склонен вступать в борьбу. Yet was the bear not inclined to fight. Потому что он повернул назад и пошел прочь медленно по льду. For he turned away and made off slowly over the ice.
Это мы видели со скал берега. This we saw from the rocks of the shore. И медведь пошел по направлению к нам. And the bear came toward us. А за ним шел киш. And after him came Kish. Совершенно не боясь. Very much unafraid. И он кричал бранные слова медведю. And he shouted harsh words after the bear. И размахивал руками. And waved his arms about. И поднял большой шум. And made much noise. И тогда медведь рассердился. Then did the bear grow angry. И поднялся на задние лапы и зарычал. And rise up on his hind legs and growl. Но киш шел прямо на медведя. But Kish walked right up to the bear. Да, Бим продолжил этот рассказ. I, Bim continued the story. Прямо на медведя шел Киш. Right up to the bear Kish walked. И медведь бросился за ним. And the bear took after him. И киш побежал прочь. And киш ran away. Но пока он бежал, он уронил маленький круглый шарик на лед. But as he ran, he dropped a little round ball on the ice. И медведь остановился и понюхал его. And the bear stopped and smelled of it. Затем проглотил его. Then swallowed it up. А Киш продолжал убегать и бросать маленькие круглые шарики. And Kish continued to run away and drop little round balls. И медведь продолжал их глотать. And the bear continued to swallow them up. Вопли и крики сомнения последовали. Exclamations and cries of doubt were being made. И углук выразил открытое неверие. And uh gluck expressed open unbelief. Своими собственными глазами мы видели это, утверждал Бим. With our own eyes we saw it, Bim affirmed. И Бон, да, собственными глазами. And Bon, I, with our own eyes. И это продолжалось, пока медведь вдруг не встал на задние лапы.
and this continued until the bear stood suddenly upright. And cried aloud in pain. И колотил передними лапами по сумасшедшему вокруг. And thrashed his four paws madly about. А киш продолжал убегать по льду. And Kish continued to make off over the ice. На безопасное расстояние. To a safe distance. Но медведь не обращал на него внимания. But the bear gave him no notice. Будучи занятым бедой, которую маленькие круглые шарики наделали внутри него. Being occupied with the misfortune the little round balls had wrought within him. Да, внутри него прервал Бим. I, within him, Бим interrupted. Потому что он царапал себя. For he did claw it himself. И прыгал вокруг по льду, как игривый щенок. And leap about over the ice like a playful puppy. Разве что потому, как он рычал и вопил. Save from the way he growled and squealed. Было ясно, что это была не игра, а боль. It was plain it was not play but pain. Никогда я не видел такого зрелища. Never did I see such a sight. But, in the council one night, after long deliberation, it was determined to put spies on his track when he went forth to hunt, so that his methods might be learned. So, on his next trip, Bim and Bon, two young men, and of hunters the craftiest, followed after him, taking care not to be seen. After five days they returned, their eyes bulging and their tongues a-tremble to tell what they had seen. The council was hastily called in Klosh Kwan's dwelling, and Bim took up the tale. Brothers, as commanded, we journeyed on the trail of Kish, and cunningly we journeyed, so that he might not know. And midway of the first day he picked up with a great he-bear. It was a very great bear, none greater, Bon corroborated and went on himself. Yet was the bear not inclined to fight, for he turned away and made off slowly over the ice. This we saw from the rocks of the shore, and the bear came towards us, and after him came Kish, very much unafraid. And he shouted harsh words after the bear, and he waved his arms about, and made much noise. Then did the bear grow angry and rise up on his hind legs and growl. But Kish walked right up to the bear. Aye, Bim continued the story. Right up to the bear Kish walked, and the bear looked after him, and Kish ran away. But as he ran, he dropped a little round ball on the ice, and the bear stopped and smelled it then swallowed it up. And Kish continued to run away and drop little round balls. And the bear 
continued to swallow them. Exclamations and cries of doubt were being made, and Ugluck expressed open unbelief. With our own eyes we saw it, Bim affirmed. And Bawn, aye, with our own eyes. And this continued until the bear stood suddenly upright and cried aloud in pain and thrashed his forepaws madly about. And Keesh continued to make off over the ice to a safe distance. But the bear gave him no notice, being occupied with the misfortune the little round balls had wrought within him. Aye, within him, Bim interrupted, for he did claw at himself and leap about over the ice like a playful puppy. Save from the way he growled and squealed, it was plain it was not play, but pain. Never did I see such a sight.' 